Hi everyone, this is Benson. I'm here too. Ben's here, don't worry, I'm not letting him completely loose. He's looking after me. So today we are painting some Astra Militarum with contrast colours. Well, the contrast colours we have, which is a limited palette, but it, it works nicely for these uh, Cadian shock troopers. Why did you only buy greens and browns? Why not some of those bright, vibrant colours? I thought we've got to tell them about priming. So we primed our models here. There's two different um, colours you can use with the contrast, uh, special colours for the contrast. It's grey sear. That's this one here. That gives a, a colder effect, right? That is correct. And there's... Wraith bone? Good shout, yeah. I'd forgotten what it was called. Um, yeah, Wraith bone, which is a, a warmer, more organic one. So I prefer it on the wee beasties. And I, I prefer... In the. I just like my models cold. So I've been using your grey sear on the, a lot of miniatures I've been practising with. I just like the tonal effect. Even my, my skin, I like it to look colder, like they're a bit frozen to death. <laughs> that, that, that's fine. I mean, I'm made of money. You, you, just, you just waste it on your hands. So I think the important thing here, guys, is to remember to apply this the same as you would any primer, nice and evenly, left to right. Get, get all the different angles from above, from the sides, all the angles you can get, and get a nice, even, light coat as, as best you can. And then once you finish with the primer, it's been asked in the comments a couple of times why we, we turn it upside down and that should empty any of the remaining paint from the nozzle and clear the nozzle and stop it jamming the next time you use it. And of course waste a little bit more on my paint, right Ben? Yeah, yeah, it gets rid of, uh, gets rid of some paint out of the can for you and helps you finance Games Workshop a little bit better. You've got to look after Games Workshop. I do, do. Keep them, keep them coming up with innovative things like this. This is quite exciting. These paints are the most excited I've ever been about paints. I think something new in the world of painting. So here we are starting with um, uh, Militarum Green, um, painting all the cloth with this. Why isn't it just called Astra Militarum Green? Because that's too long <laughs> and complicated. <laughs> so, so what are you doing with all this? All of his trousers? All of his trousers, all of his um, torso apart from the armour on there and obviously the sleeves of his, um, his jacket as well. Is that it? That's nice and straightforward. How, long, how did you find this compared to painting with normal paint? It's an awful lot quicker. Um, you do have to be a little bit careful where it pulls. Um, it's it's like using a wash. It, it pulls in the recesses, and you just have to be a little bit careful to make sure that um, it only pulls where you want it to. I think when I was editing the video of this, I did actually take out a bunch of the footage where you're just moving around the pool. So do bear that in mind at home that you don't get to see that in the video, but Benson probably spent three times longer just moving the pools of of settled paint on the flatter areas around so I've edited that out because it's incredibly difficult for you to see that's happening and it's pretty boring footage. I mean I feel like watching me paint is never boring Ben but we don't want the videos to drag on forever I suppose so it's, you know you are right. That's true it is, it is like being at a rave watching you paint we should have some techno music over this and then we're on to another colour at last. Dark Angels Green. So we use this on all the armour and um, we use it on the gun, the helmet, the shoulder pads and the chest, uh, chest part as well. Don't forget those little ankle armours he's got. I don't know what they are. Greaves? Are they called greaves? Why is his, Why are his ankles so well protected? Uh, so he can run away, because essentially that's what Astra Militarum do. They get shot or run away. Is that, is that true? Why do you Why do you favour this army so much? They look so puny compared to those little alien things we were painting last week. Tanks. They have lots and lots of tanks. When, when are you going to paint me a tank? When I have time, then you, you, you give me a lot of work to do. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you would like to see Benson paint one of these so-called tanks I've heard so much about over the years. So this green, Dark Angels, does that mean something in the Games Workshop world as well? It's a Space Marine chapter. It's one of the uh, colour schemes you can you can paint your Space Marines. Um, but it also works very well on the, uh, on the little grunts as well. Um, while we're watching this, I did actually do multiple layers on this green, which I actually think is a mistake. While it was still wet, while it was drying, I thought that maybe it would enhance the, the colour, it would look better. But, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I actually forgot to do the chest plates. And when I went back, I did them really quickly with just a single coat. And actually, after, when it's all dried, I think it looks a lot better on that. It, it flowed much nicer and the highlights look much sharper. So again, that's that's me editing out some footage. So there was there's tons of footage of Benson painting the the two layers, and I've just cut it down to one to save you some time. But yeah, he, he's completely correct. He did two coats everywhere except that chest plate, and the chest plate just 
the contrast paint works a lot better with a single layer in this, which leads me on to, to notice the consistency in these contrast paints vary massively between the colors. And I think this dark green to me felt quite a lot sort of thicker. Yeah, it, it very much does vary. I don't know if it's just the lighter colors are more sort of almost watery, um, but the you yeah, certainly the dark green was very, uh, very thick in comparison. And I think I've seen quite a lot of people complain about this consistency issue, but that's the same across all paint brands and paint ranges and paint colors. Uh, people often ask the channel how much we should water down paints, and I think that varies completely dependent on the brand and the colors. Some, some paints you need to water down 50% plus and others 0% like they've come pre-watered. There is literally no paint you should water down. 0% is lying. Ah, would you water down these paints? I, I stand corrected. Contrast are a whole new medium, um, new rules. They're, they're rewriting the rules. And it could be like maybe we should be watering some down to get the consistency correct. What sort of medium should you be using? Is it like a glazy medium? Contrast medium? Have they got a Citadel, brand uh, Citadel have actually brought out their own medium for use with these. Um, it's called contrast medium. There we go. We need to get a hold of some of that. We missed a colour. What colour is this, Benson? This is Agaros Dunes. Um, we use this on the boots and on the belt and suspendery bit. Does he wear suspenders? It, it holds his armour on, I think. Of course it does. Of course it does. What a lovely, lovely, lovely chat. Oh, it looks like we use it on the blade handle as well. It's sort of uh, got a bandage or something wrapped around it. You know, for his delicate hands, he doesn't want to get calluses. Do any of them ever hold the knife? Uh, some of them have the knife in a, the bayonet knife in a holster. Ooh, ooh, exciting use of the, the weaponry there. <laughs> Here we're using um, a small amount of non-metallic. Uh, this is metallic. It's machine gun metal by Army Painter. It's the darker silver that I use normally. That is correct. It's non-contrast paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're doing some of the details now. I think the contrast paints are great for covering a, a large area, a huge portion of the model. And then I, I, so far, I've only this is after the model we've painted, but I'm already feeling the details want to be done in normal paints. I have heard that you can use the contrast paints to do non-metallic metals. Um, the results I've seen haven't been as impressive as the rest of the contrast paints, though, so I personally have decided to use the um, metallics. How easy yeah. would it be to aim the contrast paints at this sort of... Because this is the really small detail part, isn't it? Sort of his bayonet, some parts of his gun, his, his ammo clip, around his helmet. Well, there's bits around his helmet, but they're all small details, aren't they? It's the Imperial Aquila that he has on his hat. It's like a little eagle wings. Oh, fancy, fancy pants soldiers. But um, yeah, don't you think aiming the contrast paints would be difficult? Possibly. I think if you use a small amount on a fine tip brush, I think it, it's doable. It, it's workable. There's some nice recesses for it to flow into. We'll have to give that a try. So moving on to another detailing paint, another army painter. This is Survivor Skin. And where are you painting him, Dispenson? Let me guess. Face and hands on the skin, controversially. <laughs> I thought so. So this is this is different for you. I, I will, I'm a fan of the Survivor skin or Barbarian flesh. You're often using the Games Workshop equivalent, that like Canadian flesh tone. Cadian flesh tone, yeah. These um, Imperial Guard Astra Militarum are Cadians, and I prefer the flesh tone that they have. It's a more pale. They, they don't get a lot of sun. Not as much sun as the Survivors. <laughs> <laughs> They are surviving outside. They can't live in buildings in the zombie apocalypse they're, they're having to live in. But no, I, I, in this instance, I think the Cadian flesh tone is probably better seen as, you know, it's the namesake of these soldiers and probably that paint's going to be useful. But I think the, the outcome of this survivor skin, I'm surprised touching Army Painter paints to a Games Workshop model didn't cause some sort of chemical reaction and for it to dissolve as soon as it hit it. But it seemed to work fine for me. I'm not going to lie, it did cause me distress. Oh, oh dear, dear, dear. Some fanboys, eh? Survivor <laughs> Shader. So we're going to be using a couple of washers by Army Painter as well. And this is Survivor Skate Shader. It's exactly the same as Dark. Well, it might not be exactly the same. It could be an exclusive, but it's basically a black wash and their dark tone. So that's been asked before. Dark tone is the generic color they give to this, to this shade. And it's just a black wash. So I think you're applying this to all the metallics. Yeah, that's right. And on the uh, green armour as well. I would have used Nuln Oil had I been at home because that's the Citadel version. And then Flesh Wash is just a little dab here on his face to bring out all the details, all those cheekbones, his eyes, any mouth? Yeah, there's. That, it's got a mouth, Ben, yeah. Excellent, excellent. 
anywhere else what you're applying that to the boots as well yeah i don't think it really needed it but it was just to enhance the um, low lights a little bit on the um, boots where it had already pulled a little bit from the contrast thing. and then and then i've taken it off your hands there and uh, that's my base guys i've added that base but i i checked the footage it took benson 24 minutes only 24 minutes to paint this with contrast paints and that's doing a layer more than i needed to do on the armor as well an extra layer. I know, right? That's like an extra five minutes in there. So, I mean, to be honest, I did, I did like how this turned out. I was, uh, I was really pleased with the final result. I mean, the time taken, you just can't complain. You can't fault it. Um, when you paint in a hundred of these at a time, you, you want to knock, knock them out quickly. And I think from a tabletop distance, it looks fine. I mean, you wouldn't win any competitions with it, but you want to. Get out a lot of these quickly and i think the contrast does really well for it i think going forward i'd maybe paint the armor with um, normal paints and just use the contrast for the clothes yeah yeah and this is your original so benson painted an astra militarum one and a half plus years ago on the channel it took him an hour and 50 minutes yeah i do prefer this one i'll be honest but you know, I I still haven't finished the uh, the unit he's in yet. So. And this was over four times longer. We'll leave a link at the dis uh, not a description below. We'll leave it at the end. A little click if you'd like to and check out the content a year and a half ago. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Do check out that video. Check out previous content. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see some more GW videos. And as always, big up Benson below. Leave leave him a leave him a thanks and a thumbs up. See you all next week.